You guys have a look at this next video and see how the press secretary tries to handle the questions around why is Biden being so nice now about, about Trump now that he's been elected to be president? Why is he so much nicer now compared to how he was during the campaign? Have a look. Thanks, Brian. Um, picking up on that point just a little bit, earlier you said that the White House's view when it came to reproductive rights did not change yeah. from pre and post election. The president repeatedly referred to Donald Trump as a threat to democracy yeah. over and over again. And this morning, though, he said, we're all going to be okay. So, was that just political rhetoric? Uh, I, mean, I mean, if you know the president, you know that him saying we're all going to be okay, he's an optimist, right? He believes when you get knocked down, you get back up. We are, we, we, we lost, but we're not defeated, right? We, we suffered a defeat, but we're not defeated. And that is the president's optimistic nature. And it's very similar to the question that I just got um, from Karen. Uh, the president believes, uh, as, as you asked me about the threat to democracy, uh, believes in being an obligation to be honest to the American people. And we cannot forget, it wasn't, just really quickly, it wasn't just the president who was saying this, right? I mean, you had the former president, now the president-elect, uh, said there were, talked about an enemy within. Right? He talked about mistreating Americans who disagree with him, about terminating the Constitution. We heard from his former, uh, former chief of staff, John Kelly. And let's not forget the, the former defense secretary, Mark Esper. We heard from them and what they had to say. So we weren't the only ones saying that. And the president does believe that he needs to be honest, has an obligation to be honest to the American people. Now we're in a situation where the American people have spoken and we're going to respect the outcome of the election two days ago, because we have to respect the, the, our election system. It's important to do that. And um, at the same time, he's, he's still a leader. He wants to make sure that he shows optimism, right? He wants to make sure that people understand uh, that there is a tomorrow, right? There is going to be um, uh, another opportunity uh, to have your voices heard. And so that is very much quintessential Joe Biden, I think, uh, if, you, if you have followed him and, and really reported up, up on him for the past several years. To be clear, do you still believe that Trump is a threat to democracy? I think that the president was very clear what he stated, and it was very honest. Uh, and what we are trying to do, and I get your question, what we are trying to do is respect what the American people decided. We're, we're not trying to cause any divisions here. We're trying to be very respectful of what the American people, but again, when he spoke, he wanted to be honest with the American people and shared what he believed. And it wasn't just him. Uh, but right now, we want to move forward. We want to make sure there's a, tra a peaceful transfer of power. That's what the American people deserve. I'm right with these reporters. I want to know now too, why is Pre uh, Biden being so quick to be so nice about Trump? now that he's been elected. Why is that? It's what he says and what he's done as far as coming out after they lost is all correct and what the leader of our you know world should be doing, right? But I'm so skeptical. <laughs> I look at it and I say, what are they up to? On one side, I know that it's because it was a landslide. It was a red wave. And as the rest of the votes continue to come in, I mean, the election looks worse and worse on how it was won for the Democrats. And so I get it. It's like they have no fight to fight. They have no argument to argument to argue. So I get that. But I'm glad the reporters at least had it out there to ask that question. And for the press secretary to say, you know, just trying to move forward, just trying to be honest. So that was the big thing when she goes, he's just trying to be honest to the American people. Does that mean then during the campaign, he wasn't honest to the American people that that Trump was was not going to be, you know, killing democracy? Read into that. Is that really what she just said? He's trying to be honest now because during the campaign, all the rhetoric coming out of his mouth, he was lying. He knew it was not true about Trump, but he pushed that narrative to get his Democrats behind him and fired up and angry and to have divisiveness happen in our country, even bigger than what it was before he took office. So I'm 
I'm glad they asked that question, but I'm very skeptical in the sense that why are they being so nice? What do they have planned? What are they hiding? Are they thinking? I don't know. I don't even want to go there, but it raises a, a little question because that was so quick for them to be turning phew, so nice now.